Hey all fools and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force CD! We are ready to go! Yes. Relight the embers, lie everything else too. Just do it. This is my battle plan, Lynx, and I need your assistance! What do you think you are doing? I wanted a fairly matched battle. If you're going to have such unfair tactics, I can't go along with them. You need to rethink your plans, Magus. <clears throat> unfair, you say? The only thing that matters in battle is victory! I bet I can handle this without you anyway. If you don't like the way I'm doing this, then go somewhere else! Are you serious, Magus? Well, if you really mean it, it's not my turn anyway. Lynx is being kind of a dumbass, I have to admit. Sup, guys? Well, well, it's the Shining Force! I've heard rumors about you! You're early, we were just about to start preparing your welcome! Isn't the Devil Army here? No, no, the Devil Army already withdrew, because they heard you were coming! You totally saved us just by being you! They're bound to attack somewhere, don't you think? Please, won't you come into our town? We have a big party for you. This is a trap! Get out of there now! Oh. Dude, you can fly. Dude, you can fly! God damn it. <laughs> ah, this is silly. <laughs> the fools actually came in! It's you. <laughs> yes, it is I, Mergus, commander of the Devil Army. Take a look around, Yun. I got a trap for you. No, oh, no. Things I kill. Oh, and of course these are actually demons. You are completely surrounded, except behind you. Prepare to die in the most humiliating way. Really? That's humiliating? Oh, you're not even going to stay for the party? Coward. So yeah, we're surrounded except there's nothing behind us. That's what you call surrounded, seriously? Also, Eric, you can fly for Pete's sake, what are you doing? Ah, oh, this game's silly sometimes. I did mention I'm not a huge fan. So, uh, there's a chest up here. Cool stuff, isn't it? There's also Blaze 2. Nobody cares about. There's also this guy that's back because he, he deals a lot of damage, I guess. More importantly, there's new stuff down here, which I'm gonna take a look in a moment because I wanna check something. That can't be right. I guess it is, though. Alright, so there's only one new enemy. And he's not the boss of anybody, so I'm not actually sure who the boss is here. Who do I kill to end this? Because I don't want to kill him before I kill everything else. Anyway, Hell Soldier! Who has 25 attack and 21 defense, both of which are rather whopping. Um, 25 means uh, even on the bestest of tanks. That does decent amounts of damage. Okay, not that great actually, but whatever. It's okay, I suppose, and 21 is also okay, although that depends on his HP. 26, yeah, he can take at least three hits from the good he good heavy hitters, so... He can handle the heat, I guess. Also, Mount is going to change, because in Shining Force 2, you actually start around here, which is the entrance, and you go under this, usually. Also, this is a Shining Force 1 uh, design, in terms of creatures. Uh, Hell Soldier, I'm not sure which game it comes from, actually. Wait, there were no other dwarves in Shining Force 1, so it's not Shining Force 1, but I'm not sure it's Shining Force 2. What were the second incarnation of the dwarves called? There were Dark Dwarves, that was the first one, and then... It might not have been Hell Soldier, but it was something Soldier, I think. Also, I'm going top first, because why not get the goodies while I can? 
Also, he sprung his trap too early. If I was up here, uh, sitting on the table and going like, I'm waiting for my cake! Party cake! Uh, that would have been a good time to spring the trap, because then I'd be surrounded at the bottom, at the top, at the sides, it'd be horrible! But, uh, Magus is kind of dumb, so, whatever. <sighs> also, that would have made a good, uh, the cake is a lie reference before that was actually a thing. <laughs> because the cake would have been a lie. <laughs> Oh, I'm not funny, I know. This is late night recordings again. I'd rather avoid late night recordings, but I don't always have the choice. Just gotta do with just gotta do with what you get. That's all that's all there is to it. <sighs> mm. Also I'm not sure what I have to say here. Not much, clearly, but still, you know, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna kill these fools. This battle was not particularly hard, as far as I remember it. As I said, most battles, it's just easy, and then there are spikes, difficulty spikes here and there, where you can just get easily overwhelmed if you're not careful. That's how this game works. There are no difficulty uh, settings, after all. Yeah, you're not gonna be useful right now. Just stay there. Actually, I need somebody to actually tank these. Because the mage especially is gonna be a riot if he gets to me. Yeah, you're not gonna kill it. You better not. Good. It's fine. Um, I'm gonna put you here, because that's 30% terrain, which means uh, her bad defense isn't gonna matter quite as much. Alright, you have heal too. You're a jerk! I know. I need another melee to make it up there to finish the block of the mage. <sighs> well, dang it. Still need somebody else, but he won't be able to attack melee, because I don't want to give the mage more than one target. Yeah, I want to put somebody here to stop the mage from getting to my party. Apparently, um... Julia drew the short straw, which is unfortunate because she kinda needs to be attacking stuff. She's not particularly well off in terms of experience. Actually, I don't quite remember how everybody's doing in terms of experience. I just know Kiddo is way over-leveled for no good reason. I remember that much. Hey there. You seem to be in quite a hurry compared to the rest of your group. That was predictable. Right now, I'd actually like to kill the fool. If at all possible. What's your experience? Ah, eh, you're low. Finish him. He should be able to, he has pretty much the highest attack, I think. Also, 1A... okay. Knights don't actually matter in terms of experience. Now, we know. Oh my god, I get the feeling he's also not gonna matter, except he did. Okay. Also, Paige is kind of amazing. I think I've mentioned that before, but let me just say that again. Paige is kind of amazing. Hell yeah. Julia can actually finish the mage off. From below. That's fine. That's pretty much my best tank. I mean, Kiddo has one more experience, but Kiddo also has one more level, and Kiddo doesn't get uh, a terrain advantage, although... Uh, He's getting zero, she's getting zero right now, so it's not like that last one matters. Uh, you know what? You're gonna come back. You're not exactly needed up there. 
<sighs> and I'm just gonna heal him. That's all I got for you. I mean, he got pretty wounded. Um, you're almost leveled. She's not. I'm gonna let her handle the uh, mage, and I'm gonna start working on the sniper. The best part about this is, even if Julia doesn't manage to kill the mage, they're all gonna be separate from each other, so there won't be multi-target blazing going on. Unless he takes a turn too early. That could be a thing. Um... Actually, no. God damn it. Go attack this one. That way he's never gonna get to attack anything. Uh, I don't want... You know what, I don't particularly want him to get experience, but... It's not like the knights are giving experience to begin with, so... Whatever. As I said, whatever. He actually created for all their HP. He could have one-shotted the dude. If he really wanted to. I could also give the kill to Mead. You know what? I'm not gonna take the chance here. I guess I'm gonna try to give the kill to. Wow. It's also not gonna give much experience, so whatever. I'm gonna try to give the sniper then to Julia. See what happens with that. I was hoping you'd be able to do that. Oh, sorry for yawning. As I said, late night recordings are not ideal. Mm. Man, <laughs> I usually go to bed in like five minutes from now. That's obviously not gonna be the case here. No. No. Never. Um, oh. I think there's a button that allows you to make the, uh... No. Ah, there! Start allows you to see behind the, the names and... Uh, style, not status effects, but, um... Terrain. Bonuses. Whatever. I'm forgetting the name of it for some reason. Did you not kill it? How? How much damage did you do? How are you this weak? I'm pretty sure he's equipped with that long sword. How are you this weak? My highest attacks are like uh, 30s. Even freaking sen. You have attack. Oh, okay, it's 20 to 30. Oh, it's experience that's 25. Oh my god, I'm so tired. It's still the lowest attack of my attacking force, though. I mean, yeah, Cynthia's lower, but Cynthia doesn't really attack. Well, she does, but that's not her function. I'm gonna have Kido pick up the, the chest, because I can. Also because he doesn't need experience right now. As amazing as he is, and, you know, useful in battle and whatnot, I, he really doesn't need the experience. Uh, sure, Sylvia, why not? <laughs> Nine. That was okay, I guess. I'm all spread out! That's awesome! That happened by accident, too. You know, it just kinda happened. Actually, I wanna go kinda down there. Oops. See, what I'd like to do is actually kill the Hell Soldier before he actually gets to do anything. It should be manageable. He takes two steps, so one, two, one, two, three, four, one. Uh, one, two. Okay, I'm gonna assume it's gonna take a couple turns, so he's gonna get a couple more movement, which means I'll actually be fine right here. Let me think things through, right? Right. 
Yeah, because his range after the next turn is gonna be one, two, three, four, one. Yeah, I'll be fine. There you go. Now I'm just gonna charge down there and kill him. And as big and nasty as he looks, he's gonna be real easy. Hello, chest. What are you? Quick something, but how can you not carry items? I'm awful at this game, clearly. God damn it. You're full, seriously? Uh, well, mm, Julia just got a kill, so I guess she doesn't need it quite as much as other people. Wait, hold on. No, what? Well, she can pick it up, but... Oh, God. I pressed a button, which I thought was B. The cancel button. And it left her there, so I was like, Oh, so that's not the cancel button, so I'm gonna press the other one, because I really want to cancel. And that just left her there, ended the turn. I was like, wait, what? I'm so confused. So confused, I don't even know what happened. Something happened. Also, I'm apparently too far from the, the dwarf. My other guys up there should be just fine. These. Page and company. They should be just in range of things. Hopefully that's enough to kill the thing. Definitely gonna be enough to kill the thing. I should not worry about that. Rubron. Man, you are lacking an experience. Go right ahead and take it. Is it just me, or am I critical hitting just about everything that crosses my path? This is getting ridiculous. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Oh, you're not quite far enough. <sighs> I'm gonna go down a little, deal with the other things down there. Maybe deal with the things up, actually. I don't know. Uh, you know what? No, that's not a good idea. No. Just, ah, uh, I don't know. Okay, these guys are gonna be charging. Alright. So what was that? Quick trigger? Quick rig! Oh! Agility. Per my agility boost to whoever is equipped. It's about as permanent as you wear it. Which means not necessarily very permanent. But whatever. You see, now this bat can reach this far. I'm gonna be here, though. Because sure, I don't mind being in range of it. But I'd rather she, it, whatever, the bat, uh, I'd rather the bat come in a place where I can actually send more people at it. Also, there's a thing coming from below, and that's not really uh, what I want to be seeing. You know what, I'm coordina coordinating this awfully because I'm going to be fighting both groups at the same time. I am literally asking for trouble because I'm playing this really poorly. 